A car bomb in central Damascus has killed 53 people and wounded around 200, according to Syrian television. The device exploded near a busy motorway in the capital, close to the ruling Ba'ath Party offices. Syrian state media said this was an attack by what it called terrorists battling President Bashar al-Assad. Most of the victims in the Mazra district had been civilians, possibly including children from a nearby school. The blast also blew out the windows of the Russian embassy 200 meters away. Two other car bombs were reported outside security centers in the northeastern district of Baze, but there were no details of casualties. The opposition Syrian National Council has said it's open to talks with the regime to end the two-year conflict that has cost around 17,000 lives. But they say al-Assad cannot be party to any settlement and called for the release of tens of thousands of detainees, which the government refused. This comes as British Foreign Secretary William Hague, who's in Lebanon to discuss the Syria crisis, reiterated his calls for Assad to step down. Such a threat to the stability of the whole region should not be endured because one person wishes to stay in power, he said.